I mean, I can uh, I can jump into a DSP a little bit because uh, so the you know we have all the the standard um, advertising stuff on you know the the, the products and the, and you know uh, display page advertising and stuff like that. But this all falls falls under Amazon PPC. Um, <clears throat> and um, for a long time, big sellers have been using something called Amazon DSP, demand side platform, and uh, that is a fundamentally different type of advertising. Um, and it isn't just on Amazon pages, it's on Google pages and stuff like that, but it's all powered through Amazon DSP. And um, that has, uh, for, for, for many years, that was available only if you put down you know, big commitments like thirty thousand a month for three months. So it was like a ninety thousand dollar. It was for big companies that wanted to spend. Well, well people who were confident that they could make it work, but right. you know, but um, but it was hard to test without putting down you know a big amount of money to test right. it, and then you know it either worked or it didn't work. Um, now they have um, they've authorized a number of um, companies to be Amazon DSP resellers. And so these companies, they, they meet the minimum already because they have many clients. Uh, so they're well above the, you know, the 60 to 90 K minimums. Okay. So they can now take in much smaller clients. So you can get in there and you can, you know, you can, you can get started with DSP for maybe $3,000 a month. Um, and you'll do, you know, a three month contract on that. So now you're risking 10 K instead of risking hundred K. So nice. it makes it far more. Um, possible to test that, and, and it's something that you know uh, any seller that has decent cash flow um, should check. You know, um, what what would be the main advantage of of using DSP as an additional thing to their normal advertising? So, D, uh, so well, okay. So first of all, normal PPC essentially is reactive. It's somebody types in a search term that they're doing a search on Amazon, and it's going to match that search term with you know ads and bids and stuff like that, right? So Amazon PPC is is reactive, and it, it only reacts on people typing in a search, right? Uh, DSP goes out and finds people where they are, and it's far more targeted. So you can go, you know, I only want to I only want to show my ad to people that are making you know 100k. Um, a year in, in annual revenue. I want to show it to people who have visited my website. I only want to. You know, I want to just do remarketing only, or I only want to you know show my ad to people that have visited these five competitors' websites. Right. So the the, the targeting is you know night and day far more sophisticated than you can do on PBC because PBC just looks at search terms, whereas DSP has a ton of metrics. Um, and a lot of algorithms and tool for really honing in on what's working um, and how do you get your ads in front of that exact audience that's working well. Nice.